I'm going to make a simple tenon jig today for the table saw. My table saw is the DeWalt DW745 and the first thing I want to do is to create a box that sits over this table saw's fence. I've got some offcuts of block board here which is basically some pine strips that have been laminated together and a veneer on the top and the bottom and I'm going to use these to make the jig. The first thing I need to do is measure the height of the fence. The fence measured 80 millimeters high, so I ripped a piece of the block board to 83 millimeters as I wanted these pieces to be slightly taller than the fence. I cut two pieces to about 400 millimeters long on the mitre saw. With these two pieces cut to slightly higher than the height of the fence, I'm going to place them either side of the fence and measure up the total distance from one side to the other, and that's 125mm. I ripped the piece for the top at 128mm, again adding a few millimetres to the measurement, which would allow me to make adjustments later if required. And I'll cut this piece to the same length as the side pieces. So now I've got two side pieces and a top piece, but before I glue this up I want to apply a couple of layers of masking tape to one of these side pieces and these pieces of tape will act as a shim to ensure that the jig moves freely along the fence. I applied some wood glue. I want to ensure that this top piece is perfectly flush with this side piece on the side that's facing the table saw blade. I'm going to fire in a couple of brad nails to hold this together temporarily. And now I'll add a few screws for extra strength. So at the moment, this jig is a little bit tight on the fence, it kind of snags a little bit. But once I remove the tape, hopefully it should move freely. That seems pretty good, there's no side to side play and it moves pretty freely. Now I've got another piece cut and this is to go on the side. So I'm just going to glue and screw that on. I've got an offcut of 3x2 here and I'm going to use this as the back piece to support the work piece on the jig. Um, but first I'm just going to clean this up on the table saw to square it up and get rid of the rounded over edges. So this piece will go here and I'll just mark up the height of the fence so that I can cut it. Before I attach this piece to the jig, I'm just going to scrape off the old finish from this piece of block board so that the glue adheres properly. With one screw added at the top, I'm now just going to move this and make sure that it's perfectly square and I'll clamp that in place and then add the other screws. Now I can wipe off that excess glue. The only other thing that I want to do is add a bit of shape to this fence and that's purely because it will make it easier to 
clamp on the workpiece to the fence. I'm literally just going to freehand something and cut it out with a jigsaw. You can see that I've tweaked that line a little bit and that's just to make sure that my clamps will reach round to support the workpiece. So that's the quick and dirty tenon jig. You can probably tell from the state of it that I don't spend an awful lot of time making jigs look nice because I'd rather spend my time making things other than jigs. Obviously it's adjustable with the fence, so wherever I move the fence, the jig will go. The final thing I want to add is a handle, just so that your hand has somewhere to guide the jig backwards and forwards. And I've got this handle that was salvaged from a piece of furniture many years ago. But you could easily use just a strip of wood or something like that just to have somewhere to rest your hand. Before using the jig I just want to double check that the back fence is square to the table and that looks perfect and also that the side fence is square to the table and that looks good too and you should also check that your blade is at a perfect 90 degree angle to the table saw. If the side fence wasn't perfectly square to the table then what I would do is put the jig in the vise and take a few shavings with a hand plane off whichever side of the jig needed it to level it up with the table. But I'm not going to do that because mine's okay. So I'm just going to test this out now and see how it works.